Mm. Well, alrighty then. Now, yeah. I mentioned something inside of the um, entertainment, entertainment yeah. segment. I was talking about Ubi Franklin, yeah. Okay. Because they have an issue that's gotten really messy, and I don't know if you guys are privy to it. Um, mm. There's so some voice notes that went Voice out. notes and stuff yeah. and some very, very derogative and, you know, everything's mm. just a mess. I don't, I can't take any advice from you. I don't, because you're too fucking face. You're too face. After the shit my husband did, you came online and saying, oh, God has been detected you. You're, you're a fucking two-faced nigga. I don't want to be having any... Oh, really? Oh, really? What the fuck is wrong with you? How many people did that call to tell you to stay away from TV? Did you listen to them? How many times, Sandra? Are you something wrong with you? Well. Did I tell you not to just stay away from TV or not? TV is my friend. It's my friend. It's a useless person. I I I I see. I take it from the day when I get married. Let me tell you something, eh? I said it from the day I said, God, it helps Sandra. The care I had was because of Ariella. This is, he has the capacity to, to even speak with your children. Huh. And I keep saying this to you. I keep saying this to people, talk to me, talk to me, Sandra. You have, you have been some way to get married. You want to show Sandra, I kept telling you this, and you don't want to speak in I've been telling you this thing even on my own a long time ago, before I even knew that you were even with me. But you listen to me, no. Today I'm, I'm the bad person, right? I want to say this. I know that they uh, had a relationship. They were married. She also got married after that's the wife now. And yeah. I think um, separated now again. And all of that detail and everything that's happening in between the couple, former couple, is something that I'd like to relate to every normal couple out there. Yeah. Everybody goes through stuff like this. Mm -hmm. The only difference, like Kat said, is that you put it out in the public and it's never the same again. However, that's the first mistake, going back to Cora's husband, that you do, putting it out in the public. Once the public gets involved, you feel this need to want to win a conversation. And that's just what messes everything up. You become children fighting dirty. And my advice to anybody? Referring to the yeah. Coral BD incident, when it happened, I was like, this guy is going to regret what he's done. Mm. Because people take foolish decisions when they are angry. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you, you're mad. Mm. Your wife upsets you. And you go, you know what, I'm done with this marriage. Mm -hmm. In mm. four months' time, you're going to go back to her and say, oh, let's make this thing work. Mm -hmm. But it's terrible when you've insulted every member of her family, mm -hmm. especially by saying she's cheating and all, which is what he was apologizing for. You've said a lot of things you really shouldn't have, and then you blame it on anger. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't work that way. And for Ubi Franklin, I know Ubi. Now, I don't know him the way women know him, mm -hmm. but I know Ubi, and I know him to be a decent person. So all of these things, it's, it's just like when you meet a, a, um, an individual mm -hmm. and the person is like really wild and people are telling you that, ah, this guy is really wild. But the part of him that you know mm -hmm. is not that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the way he relates with me. Mm -hmm. But the reality is I'm, I struggle to actually reconcile Ubi with, you know, the person that so many people say he is. So mm -hmm. now the, the, vi the image of people on social media is often not the image of the real person. Mm -hmm. um, even in terms of how frivolous they, or they spend money or how they dress, most of it is all a facade. Um, and in, in the negative as well, some of the negative imagery you get of people on the outside might not be who they actually are on the inside. So... Um, for instance, let's, let's look at a Cora again, mm -hmm. uh, who is a lively dancer. And that's who she was when he met her. Mm -hmm. So she is still being who she has always been. She never changed. She literally danced pregnant on a competition, an international competition, and people couldn't believe it. So, uh, you know, there are some things that go with that territory. And if you decided to go into a marriage with someone like that, you should be, you yeah. should be prepared for uh, at least, well, hey, yeah, the uh, fact is, so, it's, it's, exactly. it's going to be a factor. It's something mm -hmm. that you're going to have yes. to deal with, so whatever the... In yeah. the end, but keeping, it, keeping it to yourself is also important yeah. for her dignity, for your dignity. Let me jump on that before you yeah. say what you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. My point is this. Yeah. You have a partner. Yeah. You guys are legally married. Mm -hmm. Talk to that person. Yeah. You don't need these guys. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. my problem with people in relationships. 
Forget about Sometimes these other guys' Sometimes you might have to the person, it didn't work. Keep trying. But hey, the, the, keep the, my trying. own is, just mm. don't go on social media. Because that's one minute madness. Mm. Yeah. It stays forever. It does. It stays forever. Well, right. we're hoping for the best for them, and hopefully they will sort things out soon enough.